Welcome to a new video everybody. Today we're going to be installing a roar pedal throttle response controller inside the Stinger. Now first and foremost before we install this thing we need to talk a little bit about what it actually does and what it doesn't do. Now what it doesn't do is add power to your car. Uh, if you see a throttle response controller that's claiming that it's adding horsepower and torque to your car, steer clear of it because that is not what these are for. A throttle response controller does, well, pretty much what it says in the name. It's eliminating the response time that it takes for your car to understand when you're pushing and how far you're pushing the accelerator down. Um, so you can set this thing to think that when you're pushing your accelerator about 10% down, that it thinks that it's 100% down. So it's just eliminating a little bit of time that the computer's taking to think in your car. So let's go ahead and install this thing and then see what we can do with it. So the first thing that we'll need to do is remove this cable back here from behind the accelerator. That's gonna be our throttle cable. And you can do that by just pinching kind of at the top. It has a little clip that will release and then you'll just slide it straight off of the little connector. And that's where we're going to be inserting the throttle response controller. Now for installing the controller, it's very simple. The original throttle cable that you just took off is going to be housed inside of this long side of the connector. And then the other connector that looks like the throttle cable that you just removed is going to go back inside of that little clip down there behind the accelerator. Connecting both of these clips, make sure that you push them all the way until you actually hear them click. And then for cable management's sake, they do include some zip ties. I just went ahead and used one on this side of the controller to make sure that the wiring and the controller are all the way out of the accelerator. You want to make sure that you can push it all the way down and click that little button that's at the bottom. Alrighty, and since we got the Bluetooth model, we're going to be running everything off of the app right here instead of the regular controller that would be somewhere here on the dash. And inside the app here, we've got all of our options. We've got our normal mode, which means that the controller would be off and that we'd be driving the car just as is. It's got an eco mode, a race mode, a sport mode, and a sport plus mode. And then of course inside all of these modes it's got nine intensity levels. So we can go from level one to level nine, whatever we want. Down here it's also got a learn function so it can kind of learn how you drive and adjust it accordingly. And then one option that I really like, this is pretty cool, it's got a lock mode. So watch this, we can enter a code up here. We'll just do one, two, three, Hit OK. Alright, so we are locked. Now check this out. If I were to try to drive the car, I get no accelerator pedal. The car will move forward. You'll still be able to idle forward, but you get no acceleration until you come back over here, hit your lock. You're going to put in your code. We're just using one, two, three right now. Please do not use that code. All right, it should say unlock successful. And then we'll just go ahead and put it in park. But you can hear now that you get accelerator. All right, so we've got the Stinger in sport mode with the throttle response controller turned completely off. Just going to get a quick benchmark doing a little launch control from zero to 60. skippage I probably need to get some better tires for this I'm not quite getting the launch that I should but still pretty quick and now with the stinger in sport mode and the throttle response controller in race mode intensity level 9 let's go ahead and do a quick launch oh. tires broke loose I, I couldn't even hold it They, they 
wouldn't even stay in launch mode. It started to spin out already. Wow. Ooh. Okay. So yeah, this thing definitely adds a, a little bit more um, touchiness, I'd say, to the pedal. I, I'm barely even having to press it, and it's it's taken me off quite a bit. So we can go ahead and dial that down a little bit, I think, unless we're actually gonna race somebody, then we'll turn that sucker all the way up. Alrighty, let's see what it's like going up a hill with it in sport mode and the throttle response controller in race mode, level nine. Around this hill here. Turbos definitely like it. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking out the video. If you have any questions about the install or about the throttle response controllers, let me know in the comments. I'll be leaving links in the description down below to this controller and to the Roar Pedal website. If you use my code KDMKURT on their website, you will actually get a discount on your throttle response controllers. Again, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out the video. I hope to see you in my next one.